what we're going to do here is we're going to throw this down, show you how to stick it. Um, you want to get some moisture on this, not too much, not too little. That's about the right amount there. You aim for the center. Once you throw it down, you, you can, you've got just a split second to move it to center. Because if it's off to one side, it's going to be harder to center. The closer you can throw it down, the better. I'm going to go full speed on this. I'm going to wet my hands, wet the clay. I'm actually going to take a sponge so I'll get the right amount of what I need. Clean this off, come in, I'm applying pressure. I'm going to do a cone wedge on this. I'm going to bring this up. See how I'm bringing this up? It's off because it was farther one direction than it was another, so the majority of the clay is here. The more you bring that to the center, the more you can see it. That'll also happen when you're pulling up something that hasn't been centered uh, correctly. One side of the piece is going to be higher than the other. That seems like a negative, but if you want to make a picture, where you want one side higher than the other, then you leave the clay a little off center when you're throwing it, then you have that emphasis for a pitcher spout to be on that side. If you're bringing this up, when I'm coning this, I'm bringing out the outside layer. This is starting to dip in here. I'm going to bring it up the wrong way a little bit more to show you what happens, what you don't want. See that? That slip is down in here that is concaving. If I continued up with that, that slip would be on the inside of that and it would make it really weak. It would make it inconsistent. So we're going to come in and we're going to flatten that out like so. Then we're going to cone it, make a point on the top. So when we bring it up, that's not going to concave. If anything, it'll be flat. So we've got it, we're using pressure from either side, I'm bringing it up and in, and that's centering it more, then I'm going to push it down, you can come this way, you can come this way, a lot of times I'll grab my thumb, I'm guiding with this hand, now you can go like this, you can bring it to the side a lot, guide with this hand, go down with this one. It may distort a little bit, but that's okay. That's not really a problem. You just don't want to get it where you're getting too much friction on it. That will throw it way out. So you want this to keep flowing evenly and smoothly. Put a little more water on it here. Allow it to slide through my hands, clean off the wheel head, and go down again to center. Wet my hands, clean off the wheel head, apply pressure. I'm going to clean this off. That little bit there that's off on the bottom could throw off the rest of it. Again, using the triangle here for strength, I'm braced on the wheel with this leg. This arm's braced here, this one here. They're tied together here. You have a triangle, a lot of strength in the triangle. Wet this a little bit more so it's moving freely. Come off slowly. a little bit. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it feels off to me. So I'm going to come in and do one more centering process here. 